welcome dear learners. In this session, we will learn introduction to marketing, meaning of marketing, traditional concept of marketing, modern concept of marketing and marketing management philosophies. See this picture. Mama, where are you going? The child is asking. Mama says, I am going to market to buy some fruits for us. Marketing? Please take me also and get me a new dress from the mall, the child says. Quite often, in day-to-day -day life, the word marketing is used by many of us to indicate a normal shopping or buying things. But in commerce, the term marketing has a much deeper and broader meaning. Let's see what is the meaning of marketing. Marketing refers to the process of ascertaining consumers' needs and supplying various goods and services to the final consumers or users to satisfy those needs. Basically, marketing is the performance of business activities that direct the flow of goods and services from the producers to the consumers or users. So, the goods flow from the producers to the consumers. You can see that the goods are produced in different different places and by using the channel of distribution somehow or the other it is made possible that the consumers are able to buy the goods from different different areas. Let's see what is the traditional concept of marketing implication. In traditional concept of marketing implication the main focus is on the product whatever we have produced that has to be sold. For example, here we have manufactured a refrigerator. That means the production has already happened and we will ensure that by persuading the consumers, we will make the consumers buy the product. Next is selling the product and selling the product happens through personal selling and sales promotion activities. Personal selling means by sending people from door to door, by having personal interaction, we help the consumers understand the new features of the products and clarify any queries given by the consumers and help them to buy the products. And sales promotion activities have many things like, for example, you have discount, you have rebate, you have scratch card, you have coupons, you have product combination. Using all these things, we will help ourselves to boost the sales. The traditional concept also has one more implication. The ultimate goal is to earn the profit through sales maximization. So the focus is on sales. We have already produced to help ourselves to get more and more profit. We concentrate on maximizing the sales. Now let us see the implications of modern concept. In modern concept, the focus is on customer orientation. That is the plan production as per customer needs and then satisfaction of consumer needs. So first they identify what the customer needs and then they produce the products as per the needs of the consumers and then through sales promotion techniques, by satisfying the customer needs, the modern concept helps the manufacturers or the sellers to get profit. You can see the implication of modern concept. First one is integrated marketing and then developing a product that can satisfy the needs of the consumers. Basically, the consumer is the king. First, we find out what the consumer needs and then we develop the product as per the consumer needs. Next, we price the product. How do we price the product? Pricing the product is done keeping in mind the target consumer's purchasing power and the willingness to pay. Also, you can see the quality of the product. Higher the quality, automatically the price of the product will be very high. And also, you should see who are your target customers. As per 
that deed the price of the product will be fixed. Then comes packaging and grading the product to make it more attractive and undertaking sales promotion measures to motivate the consumers to buy the product. Packaging comes in various colors and very attractive things are added in packaging. So by seeing the attractive package itself, consumers are motivated to buy the products. The main aim of all these efforts is to earn profit through maximization of customer needs. If the customers are satisfied, they will continue to buy and many new customers will be added. This will lead to increased sales, so also the profits. So by satisfying the consumers, the manufacturers or the sellers are able to increase their profits also. If you can see this diagram, the satisfied customers, they continue to buy, they keep on buying the same product which we call as brand loyalty and new customers will also come because the satisfied customers by their word of mouth will go and tell other customers to go and buy that product and then when these two things happen, sales will automatically increase which will lead to more and more profit. Now let's see the philosophies of marketing. The first philosophy is production concept. In production concept, it is assumed that the profits could be increased by producing large quantity of goods and also by reducing the cost of production. So, here it is believed that if we produce more and more goods and make it accessible, easily accessible to all the consumers and also if we reduce the price of the product then we are able to increase the sales and we will be able to increase the profit. But one limitation of this particular production concept is the quality conscious customers they hesitate to buy these kind of cheap variety products. The next one is product concept. Here it is believed that the profits could be increased by producing good quality goods and also by selling it at a higher price. That means we are concentrating more on the quality of the goods then automatically when high quality goods are produced we will be using high technology which results in higher price. But the limitation here is many people cannot afford to buy these goods because of the higher price. The next philosophy is selling concept. Here it is believed that profits could be increased by adopting aggressive selling techniques and also by using unfair practices that is sometimes defective products are also given to the consumers. So here what they are doing is they have produced the goods whatever they have wanted and through using aggressive selling techniques they are trying to sell the products to the ultimate consumers. But the limitation of this selling concept is only short term benefits can be reaped because people who have bought their products once they realize that the quality is not good or they feel that they have been cheated, after that they will not buy the product and they will go and tell others also not to buy the products. So here in this concept, the profits could be increased only on a short term basis. The next concept is marketing concept. Here it is believed that profits could be increased by identifying consumer needs and wants and also customer satisfaction. Initially itself we have seen that marketing begins with identification of what the consumer wants, what the consumer needs. Then we develop the products as per the consumer needs and sell the products and help the customers get satisfied by using the products. So the main benefit of marketing concept is they can have long term benefits because it satisfies the consumers, satisfied consumers keep on buying the products 
and they will introduce new customers also as a result long term benefits can be had by using marketing concept. Next one is societal marketing concept. Here it is believed that profits could be increased by taking care of the interest of the customers as well as the interest of the society. So this is basically a combination of marketing as well as the concern for the society. So we are satisfying the customers as well as we are doing something that will benefit the society also. For example, we are producing the goods which are environmentally friendly and for example, we can help the society by building hospitals, schools, maintaining parks and supplying good quality products etc. So here both the things are there. The interest of the customers are also taken into consideration. The society's interest also is taken into consideration. So if you can see the social goals like public health, education, environmental protection etc. come under taking the interest of the society. Let's see what is selling. Selling focuses on product, emphasizes on selling what has already been produced and it is a small part of the wide process of marketing. Selling emphasis is initially on promotion of goods and services and eventually on increase in sales volume. In this session, we have learnt the meaning of marketing, traditional concept of marketing, modern concept of marketing and marketing management philosophies. I hope all of you would have understood the topics that have been taught in this session. Thank you.